Good Friday morning, everybody. This is Stephen Ray, and we are zoomed in here over South Alabama, and we currently have three tornado warnings across the south port, the, the uh, southern portions of Alabama. And I'm going to pull up the radar and show you. that there are your active tornado warnings. And one of them is south of Laverne, uh, Louverne, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, until 11 a.m. for Southern Crenshaw County. And so this is going to be uh, in the southern portions of Crenshaw County. And this warning goes until 11 a.m., which is about another 27 minutes. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Brantley, or nine miles south of Luverne, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. A tornado and destructive winds upwards of 80 miles per hour now, folks, and quarter-sized hail. Uh, so this dangerous storm will be near Glenwood around 1040 which is in about six minutes from now. They just issued another tornado warning, and this one is for southeastern Crenshaw County and for northeastern Covington County until 1115. Now, this severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Heath or near Andalusia, moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. Tornado and quarter-sized hail. Dozier around 1050. And then this other one down here that includes Andalusia and Op. And this one is for central Covington County until 1115. And this thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located seven miles southwest of River Falls or seven miles southwest of Andalusia moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. All right, so if you're in Andalusia and up, Andalusia is going to be around 1030, uh, which is going to be, uh, has already passed. But if you're in up, it is going to be uh, over your area in about 10 minutes from now. Uh, so we have three dangerous storms down here uh, lined up basically from Luverne all the way down to Andalusia. And the National Weather Service in Mobile, Alabama has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Escambia County. Okay, the National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Andalusia. Uh, but once again, this is a uh, very dangerous situation, uh, basically coming down here in between Laverne and all the way down to off, and especially if you guys are watching near the 29 corridor, uh, basically from Laverne all the way down to Brantley, Dozier, Heath, uh, Babby, Op, and Carolina. Those are the areas of concern right now. All right, so let me flip on the radar, and you can see uh, that your possible tornado is going to be sitting right down here uh, in between Dozier and Brantley right now. You've also got this other area of rotation north of Andalusia near the Heath community. And then you've got this other one down here uh, that includes the Carolina area down here in the area of Covington County in South Alabama. Uh, now, this also does include uh, the Enterprise area, but the Enterprise area is not under a tornado warning yet. Okay, so we got another tornado warning that was just issued now by the National Weather Service in Mobile, and it is going to be for Escambia County in Alabama, and this includes Conecuh, Escambia, until 11.15. All right, so there's your brand new tornado warning. Okay, so we've got four active tornado warnings and this one is for 
uh, northeastern Escambia County and south central Connecticut County in south central Alabama. Now, this one, uh, a capable of producing a tornado, was near Bruton, six miles north of Bruton, moving to the east at 40 miles per hour. Uh, tornado and damaging uh, hail. And this will remain over mainly rural areas of northeastern Escambia County and south central Conecuh counties down there in south Alabama. All right, so we got four tornado warnings now to deal with. We've got this one up here that is sitting in between Brantley and Luverne, also near the Glenwood community. We got the one near Dozier, and then this other one down here in between Andalusia, Babby, and Op. And then we've got this one back off to the west that is going to be north of Bruton and in between Bruton and Castleberry, Alabama. Uh, so that is the area of concern right now. And... Uh, they're in the process of issuing a brand new tornado watch for this area down here in South Alabama. So that is the area of concern, basically, from south of Evergreen. And so... Um, the most dangerous storm on the board is going to be this one right here for southern Crenshaw County because we could have destructive winds upwards of 80 miles per hour and a possible tornado with this right here. And this is going to be coming over here towards the area of Brundwich, Alabama right now. And so if you are down here towards the Brantley area, also the Glenwood area and Luverne, you need to be in your safe place right now. Uh, that is the lowest floor of your home near the center and, of course, away from windows. And there is your intense line of storms. And So once again, uh, the possible tornado from the southern storm is going to be sitting uh, near the River Falls community or seven miles southwest of Andalusia, moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. And if you're in op, you've got about four minutes before this thing comes on top of you right now and so um that's why the national weather service went on ahead and issued the tornado warning uh with this line of severe storms So the most dangerous storm on the board right now is going to be this one near the Brantley community along the 29 corridor because you could very easily see uh, winds in excess of 80 miles per hour uh, coming over here towards the uh, Carmen and the Bullock area as well along the 29 corridor. And so that is... Um, the issue of concern right now. Now, I do want to also mention that there's another tornado warning that does include uh, the area back here of Escambia County, and this one is looking like the most intense uh, from a couplet perspective.
And so there is the most dangerous storm on the board from a potential tornado. And that one's going to be sitting right here along the 31 corridor in between Castleberry and Bruton across the northern portions of Escambia and Conecuh counties right now down there in South Alabama. And so there it is. It has just crossed over the 31 corridor near the Kirkland community. And this is going to come up here towards a point where Conecuh and Escambia counties cross in the rural, rural areas of Conecuh and, Cren I'm sorry, Crenshaw and Escambia counties in Alabama. And so that is the area of concern. Now, we've also got this other tornado warning that is sitting right here along the 55 corridor just off to the west of Babby and Ob. And it's going to be this area right in here that's sitting between Carolina and Babby moving towards the op community right now. And so that is the reason that they've issued the tornado warning uh, for this area down here. But I would also like to caution you that, uh, let me take that off, that anywhere in this, basically from Elba, Alabama, stretching down into Babby and Ob, you could see damaging winds in excess of 60 to 80 miles per hour with this line of severe storms. And so um, this is going to be uh, the area of concern right now. And so uh, basically from Andalusia over to Ob and Babby, and then stretching up here towards the Laverne area down here in Alabama. And if you were in Laverne, I can give you guys the all clear because this is going to be south of your area. But it's still going to be a pretty active day. And especially if you were near Enterprise, Delville, Op, Andalusia, or anywhere down in that area right now. And so... Okay, the tornado warning continues. This is an update from the National Weather Service in Mobile. Uh, both of them are still radar indicated and that they are going to Okay. Um, tornado warning continues for Covington County until 11:15. Tornado warning continues for Covington and Crenshaw until 11.15, and both of them are radar indicated and quarter-sized tail. I need to also mention that we have a severe thunderstorm warning that does include the Foley, Alberta area, and then back up here towards the Loxley and Robertsdale area, and the torn the uh, threat posse of this warning is seventy mile per hour wind gust and quarter sized hail, and it says that this is going to be near Robertsdale, Century, Loxley, Silver Hill. And Brat. Now, Jay and Brat are over in Escambia County, Florida. You've also got this other area of strong damaging winds, basically from Bayside, Magnolia Springs, trying to get over here towards Foley around the 98 corridor as well. Uh, so, this is going to be an area to watch as well. However, this does look like it's going to be a straight line wind event down here in Baldwin County. However, you got your tornado warnings back off here towards the north and to the east as well. So once again, we got a tornado warning. We got an active tornado warning for three areas. 
we've got a severe thunder a tornado warning <clears throat> for southern Crenshaw County. And this is capable of producing a tornado which is located over Brantley or nine miles south of Luverne, moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. Destructive winds in excess of 80 miles per hour and quarter sized tail with this storm. Uh, and so, if you were going to be around Glenwood, it is going to be on top of you here momentarily. Okay, now we move a little bit further off to the south, and Covington County uh, is underneath the tornado warning until 1115. And this tornado was located six miles north of Op moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. And if you were going to be impacted, it's going to impact the uh, rural areas of northeastern Covington County. And then, of course, you've got this other one down here that includes Op and Andalusia. And this one is until 1115 as well. And then we've got this last one that is going to be back here across the Escambia and Conecuh counties in South Alabama until 1115. And this one was north of Bruton. Uh, so that is the area of concern right now. And I'm actually going to try and see if we can... get any cameras to look at the areas down here near the Op and Andalusia area. Because this thing is coming right into Op right now. Okay, National Weather Service in Mobile has canceled the tornado warning for Crenshaw. Okay, so once again, tornado warning has been canceled for Crenshaw. And we got a brand new, brand new tornado watch. That is incoming. Okay, I'm trying to see if there are any cameras in this area down here, and unfortunately, there's not. Okay, so.
Alright, so I'm checking everything. All right, so we still have the tornado warning that is coming towards the op area and stretching up the Highway 84 corridor over towards the Elba community. And this does include still the Andalusia area, but I do feel like that this is going to be a little bit east of Andalusia right now. So if you're in Andalusia, I can give you guys the all clear from this one storm. Now, we've also got this other area of rotation that is over here uh, in northern Escambia in south central Connecticut counties until 1115. And this severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located six miles southeast of Castleberry or 11 miles northeast of Bruton, moving off to the east at 40 miles per hour and this is going to remain over mainly rural areas of northeastern Escambia and south central Connecticut counties all right and then And then we've got this other, so basically, we've got two active, three active tornado warnings on the board right now. We've got the one that includes the Dozier area, the uh, Op area, and then we've also got this other one back here that includes just off to the east of the uh, Castleberry area and the Johnsonville area and the uh, Georgiaville area as well. And so uh, it looks like that the majority of this now is going to become a straight line wind event getting over here towards Op and Elba and Enterprise, but there's still the possibility of a tornado uh, that could produce a uh, tornado down here uh, towards the Op and Babby area as well and stretching up here towards the Elba and also towards the New Brockton area as well. And then, of course, we've got this other storm that is um, near the areas of Crenshaw and the Scambia counties right here in South Alabama. So you've got this area right here, and then you've got this line of storms that are lining up from Ob all the way up to Elba along the 84 corridor. And that's pretty much all that we have ongoing right now. And as you can see, <laughs> we may actually have something developing down here towards the uh, Damascus, Alabama area. And the good news is I'm not seeing anything down with any of this down here in South Alabama. But that does not mean that one could not form at any time. So uh, that is a very, very tight couplet north of Highway 29 down there uh, near the Damascus, Alabama area down there in north of the Bruton, Alabama area, actually northeast of Bruton in Alabama. Okay, the National Weather Service in 
Tallahassee, and I did not see this, has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Coffee County. That includes damaging winds in excess of 80. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so apparently the National Weather Service in Mobile has canceled the tornado warning for Covington. Okay, so we're down to one tornado warning on the board right now. And that would be... Uh-oh. Okay, a severe thunderstorm warning has been in, in, uh, issued for Op, Andalusia, and Red Level. And so that is going to be... Alright, so what they're going to do, it looks like, is they're going to allow the tornado warning down here to expire and replace it with a severe thunderstorm warning. And there's your new severe thunderstorm warning. It'll pop up here in a minute. And it'll include Andalusia and Op. And this will be for wind gusts in excess of 70 miles per hour, folks. There's your new warning that includes the uh, Babby area, the Andalusia, and Op area. And that is going to be for this Boeing line that is coming out of Escambia and Crenshaw County coming this way. And so if you're watching an Andalusia, Op, or Babby, uh, you could potentially see wind gusts in excess of 70 miles per hour. And this is for Crenshaw, Escambia County, Conecuh County, and Covington County. And this warning goes until 1145 uh, for the potential of 70 mile per hour wind gust and quarter sized hail. And so if you are watching in Andalusia, uh, Florala, River Fall, Red Level, Lockhart, Dozier, Heath, or Nat, you need to be in your safe place right now. And I can actually put a track on this. Uh, I don't need that. Draw a track. All right, so if you're in Carolina, Alabama, 18 minutes. If you're in Andalusia, 23 minutes. If you are in Babby, it's going to be on top of you in 34 minutes. And if you are in Op, it's going to be on top of you 
in 39 minutes. So that is the lot, the expected times of the uh, severe storms that have the potential to produce. Oh, okay. Locations include areas of Coffee Al, Dale Al, and Henry Al. At 12.04 p.m. EDT slash 11.04 a.m. CDT slash Doppler radar was tracking strong thunderstorms along the line extending... Okay, so we have good news. National Weather Service in Mobile has canceled the tornado warnings. So we actually have no active tornado warnings left. However, we have a line of severe storms that are across South Alabama, basically stretching from the Eufaula area down to just off to the northwest of Ozark, Elba, Enterprise, coming through up. Andalusia, or I'm sorry, yeah, Andalusia, and then back to Bruton, Century, Florida, and then stretching back in here to Foley, Gulf Shores, and Orange Beach. And these storms are meaning business, and especially this area between Op, Elba, and Enterprise right now. And so, um, Those are the areas of concern, and these are actually going to be sliding off towards the south and to the east as well. And so those are uh, the areas of concern right now down here in South Alabama. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to sign off verbally. However, I will keep the live stream up for about the next 30 to 45 minutes and come back periodically just in case we have another tornado warning. National Weather Service in Mobile, Alabama has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Monroe County in south central Alabama, northeastern Mobile County in southwestern Alabama, northwestern Baldwin County in southwestern Alabama. Southeastern Washington County in southwestern Alabama. South Central Clark County in southwestern Alabama. Western Escambia County in south central Alabama. Southwestern Conecuh County in south central Alabama. Until 11.45 a.m. CDT. At 11.06 a.m. CDT, a severe thunderstorm was located over Calvert, or 12 miles east of Citronelle, moving east at 65 miles per hour. Locations impacted include McCullough, Uriah, Mount Vernon, Calvert, I-65 and CR-1, Movico, I-65 and AL-113, I-65 and AL-21, and Porch Creek Reservation. Source radar indicated. Hazards include 60 MPH wind gusts. EOT. Up. Uh. Got another, got another update. The National Weather Service in Mobile, Alabama has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Monroe County in south central Alabama, northeastern Mobile County in southwestern Alabama, northwestern Baldwin County in southwestern Alabama, southeastern Washington County in southwestern Alabama. South Central Clark County in southwestern Alabama. Western Escambia County in south central Alabama. Southwestern Conecuh County in south central Alabama. Until 11.45 a.m. CDT. At 11.06 a.m. CDT, a severe thunderstorm was located over Calvert, or 12 miles east of Citronelle, moving east at 65 miles per hour. Locations impacted include McCullough, Uriah, Mount Vernon, Calvert, I-65 and CR-1, Movico, 
I-65 and AL-113, I-65, and AL-21, and Porch Creek Reservation. Source radar indicated. Hazards include 60 mph wind gusts. EOT. <coughs> so, excuse me. So, once again... Sorry about that. Had to clear my throat. And so um, here's what we got going on. We got multiple severe thunderstorm warnings for uh, basically the areas of Enterprise and Op all the way back into northern Baldwin and southern Crenshaw. I mean, uh, Crenshaw counties and then down here into Washington County as well. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign off on the verbal part of this and come back periodically. I'm going to mute the microphone. However, the live radar will stay up and I will be back as pure as, you know, as often as possible to kind of update you guys about the latest weather information. And if another tornado warning is issued, of course, I will be back doing live coverage. But for right now, I am going to sign off verbally, but the live radar will stay up right here on social media. So you guys can keep checking back periodically to see where the active weather and storms are going, and I will be back as needed.
All right, guys, it is coming up on 11.27 a.m., and so what I wanted to do was show you this active camera that we currently have right now down in South Alabama, and this is a live look at Enterprise Alabama's most popular intersection on the north side of the Bow Weevil Circle uh, near the Publix shopping center and so the reason that i wanted to show this is because there is a nasty nasty line of storms that are approaching the enterprise alabama area right now and this storm is capable of producing 60 mile per hour winds and quarter sized hail and a tornado is also possible and so that is why i wanted to do uh, a quick view of what's going on down there in the city of Enterprise, Alabama for you guys. And as you can see, uh, traffic is moving along very well. Uh, but this is about, this play area is about to be hit uh, by the in, in, potential tornado and severe storms here within a matter of moments. Now, I'm not sure which way we're exactly looking. And so I'm not I'm not familiar with Enterprise Alabama so I'm not exactly sure which way we are looking here but I can tell you that this is going to be down there uh close to the uh Bow Weevil Circle at the corner of the Public Shopping Center and so uh this is on the north side of that and that is one of Enterprise's most popular intersections so uh, wanted to kind of get get a look here at what's going on in the city of Enterprise. And as you can see, uh, the wind is really whipping right now. As you can see, the power lines are going up and down right now. Uh, so it very well be moving over that area very, very soon. And we're talking of winds of 60 to 70 miles per hour right now uh, coming into that area down there right now. And so we're just going to sit there and watch what's going on inside the city of Enterprise, Alabama. And as you can see, traffic is moving along very well. And uh, hopefully we don't see anything, but if there's anything moving into the city, we're definitely going to be able to see it on this camera right there that is uh, in downtown Enterprise, I'm almost certain. As you can see, a lot of people are just going on about their business. You can see that the lightning is uh, really, really flashing as we just had one off to the right right there. Uh, but the actual storms themselves are moving into the Enterprise area over towards the Griffin Heights area and the College Heights area as well, over towards the Dobbs Subdivision and Fairfield Estates. And so that is where uh, the active line of uh, storms are coming into the Enterprise area right now. And uh, hopefully we can keep this camera for as long as needed. And as you can see, really seeing that much right now in the city of Enterprise, but that will change here in a matter of moments. Okay, so it has started to rain at that area right now. 
And so the rain and wind uh, should be coming into that area very, very soon. Yep, there was some lightning. And as you can see, blinding rain is coming into that area right now. Uh, but the good news is I'm not seeing any really, really violent weather uh, at that location other than just really blinding rain. And uh, that is good news. Now, obviously, you want to uh, make sure that you guys are uh, staying, you know, uh, using extra caution as you're driving around the Enterprise area. And, uh, but I'm not seeing anything that would be violent right now, uh, other than the extensively heavy rain, uh, that is coming into that area right now. Okay, so there seems to be a lot of wind energy coming into that area right now. And remember, winds of 60 to 70 miles per hour are possible with these storms as they move through the Enterprise area right now. Okay, we're getting a little bit more shaking on the camera right now. And once again, if you were just now watching this, we are looking live at the Bow Weevil Circle on the north side of Enterprise, Alabama, near the Public Shopping Center. And we are looking at the current weather conditions as this line of severe storms moves through the Enterprise, Alabama area. And as you can see, there are blinding rain and limited visibilities right now down there in that area. And as you can see, you can you used to be able to see the pine trees over here. And you can barely make out the pine trees back over there now. 
Uh, so this is a very, very dangerous, blinding rain that is coming through this area right now. And earlier, there was a lot of wind energy at this location, but that has seemed to pass this location. But once again, this is a very, very treacherous and very, very heavy and low visibility event coming through the Enterprise Alabama area right now. And just to tell you where this is exactly, this is on the uh, north side of the Bow Weevil Circle on the corner of the Public Shopping Center. And this is uh, where we are looking at now at the traffic and the conditions as this line of severe storms is moving through the Enterprise Alabama area. And as you can see right down there, as cars are going uh, north-south here, uh, you can kind of see that they are going through a lot of water right there in this intersection. There you go. A car is going through uh, an area right there of uh, flooded roadways. And so this is going to be a trend that continues across South Alabama. And the Weather Service has issued a flood advisory now that does include the Enterprise area. And this is going to go... Uh, until 5.30 this afternoon and this evening. So that is. And this area is going to stay underneath a severe thunderstorm warning for another 20 minutes. For damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour and quarter sized hail. And so there's another storm that is just off to the southwest of this area that is moving towards that area, and I'm going to keep it here uh, on this uh, view for just for, uh, for a little bit longer uh, to kind of see what we can expect. Because there's another uh, storm that is within the line that is about to move over this area. And, uh-oh. Well, here we go. I thought. All right, we got another... Severe thunderstorm warning that includes Andalusia and Op again. Hmm. The National Weather Service in Mobile, Alabama has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Escambia County in south central Alabama, southeastern Kanaka County in south central Alabama, Covington County in south central Alabama, Okaloosa County in northwestern Florida, until 1245 p.m. CDT. At 11.39 a.m. CDT, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near up to 8 miles north of Point Baker, moving southeast at 35 miles per hour. Locations impacted include Crestview, Andalusia, Op, Florala, Baker, Laurel Hill, and Lockhart. Source radar indicated Hazards include 60 mph wind gusts and quarter-size hail. EOT so we've obviously are losing signal with the camera that is down there in Enterprise.
Okay, so apparently we have lost signal of this camera. And that's unfortunate because um, I was really wanting to show, continue to show you guys. Oh. Okay, so apparently we got it back. Lots of water on the roads down there. Um, okay, so the most active weather has passed that location. Okay, so the tornadoes and the severe storms with any wind potential and damaging straight line winds has passed over the area there of Enterprise, Alabama. And so what I'm going to do... Let's go back to the radar. So there is the line of storms that just passed through the Enterprise area. And now they are coming towards the Daleville area, the Midland City, and Dothan, Alabama. Also stretching up here towards the Ozark area as well. However, there's no active warnings near Dothan or Daleville right now. But I'm very sure that that will be changing within the matter of minutes. Uh, so there, of course, are your active line of storms that are stretching from Eufaula down towards the Ozark area, then back into Enterprise, and then back into Op Andalusia, and then stretching back into Crestview, Pensacola, and then back towards the areas down here of Gub Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. And also... Uh, we currently have a active severe thunderstorm warning for winds of 70 miles per hour. Uh, that does include southern Baldwin County. Until noon today. And so... Okay, so let me see. If I can pull up a camera on the Alabama coast. Um I believe that's going to be for the Dothan area. The National Weather Service in Tallahassee, Florida has issued a severe thunderstorm mm -hmm. warning for 
Dale County in southeastern Alabama. Western Henry County in southeastern Alabama. Southern Coffee County in southeastern Alabama. Geneva County in southeastern Alabama. Northwestern Houston County in southeastern Alabama. Until 1.15 p.m. CDT. At 11.47 a.m. CDT, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Blue Springs State Park to near Florala, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Locations impacted include Daleville, Abbeville, Geneva, Enterprise, Fort Rucker, Ozark, Headland, Dothan, Hartford, Taylor, Midland City, Level Plains, Slocum, Sampson, Newton, New Brockton, Aridman, Pinkard, Malvern, and Clay H. E. Source radar indicated. Hazards include 60 MPH wind gusts. EOT. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Clay Hatchy, not Clay Hitchy. I'm sorry, that's funny. I, I apologize about that. It's Clay Hatchy. Anyway, we got a brand new severe thunderstorm warning from Ta Tallahassee. That does include the northern portions of the Dothan, Alabama area. It includes Ozark and Enterprise, and then stretching down to Geneva and Midland City. Uh, so this is going to continue to be the area of concern. Also towards the Delville, Alabama area as well. Uh, so that is the area of concern. Winds in excess of 60 miles per hour and a tornado is possible until 1.15 this afternoon. And so what I'm going to do is we actually have some cameras that are located in Dothan. Should. Oh. And I'm going to see if we can't look at some of those cameras to see what exactly is going on inside the Dothan, Alabama area as these storms move into this area. But it's going to be a little bit, a little bit before these storms get into Dothan. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, like I did before, a, uh, for a vocal break. And I will be back here in about 30 minutes. I'll keep the live stream up, but I'll be back in about 30 minutes to update you guys. And we can see what's going on down in the city of Dothan, Alabama.